Hello and welcome back to Miss Finance. So today we're going to have a look at margins, markups, that sort of thing in terms of sales and profits and maybe an easier way for you to understand it. So I'll put my perspective on it and hopefully that can help with your understanding. So let's get straight into it. So when you're being asked in the exam to work out a margin or a markup, there's a couple of things that you need to really remember. And that's that when you're asked to calculate a markup, the cost of goods sold equals 100%. And when you're asked to calculate a margin, sales equals 100%. I'm going to show you why that matters in a second. So let's just draw out this little table here. Now in the exam, we're going to give you pieces of information. So let's just say in a markup question, we want to make 50% profit. Now it costs us £20 to make this unit. So if we can imagine here that cost of goods sold is 100% because we're looking at a markup here, then it must mean that sales must equal 150% because as we know, cost of goods sold is minus to get down to this here. So if we know that cost of goods sold is £20 per unit, then what we need to do is times that by this 150% and let's see what that gives us. So that gives us £30. So sales has to be £30 so that we can make a profit of £10. And if you look at this here, you can see that profit is 50% of cost of goods sold. So if we have a look at margins, so say if we're told here that sales are 250,000 and they're a hundred percent because we know that with a margin question sales are a hundred percent and we're told that we have a profit margin target of let's say 27 percent put 27 percent down here then the difference which is cost of goods sold must be 73 percent because 73 plus 27 gets you to 100 and 100 minus 73 gets you back to this 27. So therefore, in order to achieve 27% profit, what we need to do is take this 250k and divide it by this 100%. Then we need to times it by this 73%. So let's see what that gives us. 182,500. So 182.5. So if we did 250 minus 182.5, that gives us 67.5k of profit. And you can check this yourself because if you take this 250k divided by 100 and instead times it by 27, let's see what happens. You get. 67.5k. Simple as that. So let's do a couple of examples here. So in the exam they're going to ask you something like what is the cost of goods sold? So they're going to base it on a markup question. What they'll do is they'll say okay opening inventory is 200k and net purchases are 100k. They won't give you this closing inventory and they won't give you cost of goods sold. But what they'll say is something like okay sales is 150k and the company works on a markup policy of 25%. So we know that cost of goods sold has to be 100%, which therefore means that sales has to be 125%. So if we take the 150K and divide that by 125 and times it by 100, that'll get us back to this cost of goods sold. So we get 120K here which makes our profit 30k so cost of goods sold is 120k but what's this balancing figure what's the closing inventory that they want you to work out so we've got 200 plus 100 minus something equals 120 so that closing inventory has to be 180k so let's do it again plus 100 minus 180 there you go that gets you back to the 120k so let's do another example really quick so 
So this time round, they still want you to work out what closing inventory is, and they tell you opening inventory is 300k, net purchases is 100k, but they say that they work on a margin of 30%, so we put 30% down here. We know because it's a margin question that sales is going to be 100%, which means that cost of goods sold has to be 70%. So they tell us that sales is actually 200k. So if we take the 200k divided by 100 and times that by 70, what does that give us? Gets us 140k, which makes our profit 60k. So cost of goods sold down here is 140k. So what's this closing inventory figure? So it's going to be 260k. So let's do it again. So 300 plus 100 minus 260 equals 140. So let's do another question. So this time round, they give us closing inventory and they say, okay, that is 50k. They don't give us an opening inventory because they want you to work it out and they give you net purchases are 100k. So this time it's a markup question so we're told that sales is 170k. We know that with a markup question cost of goods sold is 100% and they, told, they tell us that the markup is actually 30%. So that means sales has to be 130%. So if we do 170k divided by 130 and then times that by 100, that gets us 130.76. So I'm just going to round, which makes our profit 39k. And again, you can double check it by going 170 divided by 130 times by 30. So we know that works out. So down here we know that cost of goods sold is 131k. So if we've got 100 minus 50, it gets us to 50. So 100 minus 50 minus 131, that gets us to 81. So if we did 81 plus 100 minus 50, yeah, there we go. So opening inventory is 81k. So when they're doing this, they're testing if you know how to work out cost of goods sold and what's a positive and what's a negative down here. So last example. So opening inventory, we know it's 30k. We don't know what net purchase is. But we know that closing inventory is 100k. We don't know what cost of goods sold is. So this time round, it's a margin question. So we know that margin is 40%, which means that sales is 100%, and that therefore means that cost of goods sold is 60%. So if sales are 300k, then cost of goods sold is 300k divided by 100 times by 60, which gets 180k, which means profit is 120k, so cost of goods sold is 180k, so what's this figure that's missing? So 30 minus 100 gives us negative 70, so I think it should be 250, but let's just double check, 250k. So I hope that's helped you in some way um, and I hope this table sort of sets it out a little bit better for you. If you did like the video then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I shall see you on the next video.